to talk to you guys about our thin mount subwoofers. And we have a couple of different offerings as far as thin mount stuff. Um, Sorry. I hope I you guys got a lot of that sound right there. I bet that was a treat to your eardrums. Um, but uh, we've got uh, Comp RT, uh, Comp VT, and the L7T subwoofers. So uh, it's kind of the same story. We started getting a demand for a thin mount subwoofer at one point in time. And so our response to that was to design the Comp VT subwoofer. So um, a lot of the things uh, that, uh, what, what did you say it was, a bumped top plate on, or is that the Comp RT? So, so yeah, actually that's a really good difference to talk about. So if you look at the back side of the VT, which I like to say is very thin, so the Comp VT was our first <laughs> thin, shallow subwoofer, the, v, the VT, very thin. And it does use the deep bumped back plate like we've been using in our Comp Series woofers for many, many years. However, when the engineers were challenged to give us more output, more excursion capability, without making the woofer any deeper, they actually made it shallower by doing a deep bumped top plate. So you can't see it here, of course, because the, the top plate is, is hidden behind the motor structure, the, the, the magnet cover here. So instead of having the deep bumped back plate, the top plate is bumped. So that makes the woofer shallower and still gives us more excursion, which of course means more bass, as well as greater power handling. So this woofer is absolutely superior in terms of performance and sound quality, but the world still buys a whole bunch of Comp VTs, so we keep it around. Yeah, some people, uh, I've seen some guys in the comments say the VTs sound incredible. Some guys prefer the sound of a VT over an RT and vice versa. So once again, it comes down to that personal preference for the uh, end user as to why we have some differences there. Hey, we kind of skipped over this guy. Yeah, so the Comp Gold, and this is kind of, um, kind of an odd case for us. But uh, the Comp Gold is based off of the uh, Comp R subwoofer, but it's got some, uh, some pretty substantial changes to it, too. So you guys notice um, it's designed after the classic Comp Gold letter subwoofers. So we decided to emulate that look with that stippled cone and dust cap. We got rid of those rugged looking lines on the Comp R for this guy, but we also introduced that gold kind of uh, original sticker on the backside. And it also has some gold plated push terminals as well, which is pretty neat in my opinion. Um, but uh, really this is for that guy that wants like nostalgia value, but still wants a great sounding subwoofer. And just like Aaron said earlier, it's my opinion, but I think this subwoofer sounds a little bit smoother and has better transient response than the Comp R that it's based off of. So um, I'm not sure why that is, but it might be the cone difference or something like that. But uh, again, different customer for this. It's for that, that guy that uh, loved his gold letter subs back yeah. in the day and wants to get into something newer, but still keep that retro look to it.